Hello, 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 guys. How are you? Welcome to Two Wicked Chicks. I hope you guys are ready for this. Ready to declutter, because all of a sudden I'm looking for the music because I want to be like Sarah, because she's my hero. And I want to be like Sarah and go like, I want to know what people are listening to. So she has this really cool songs. Maybe I should try and find one of his songs. Chris Stapleton, he's pretty cool too. Um, is it Tennessee Whiskey? Starting over? I wonder what it is. What, what, what do you think it is? Maybe she'll come on here and she'll tell me what it is. If you guys are watching this as a replay, put a hashtag replay. There's Sarah. Sarah, tell me the song that I'm supposed to be playing and maybe I'll find it while we're waiting for people to jump on. Starting over, Fire Away. I like that song. Um, Tennessee Whiskey is really good. What do you think of that one? Hi, Amanda. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here. Can you guys hear me? Everything's good? Let me see what this one. Oh, there it is. Let me see if you guys can hear this. I'm going to try and be like Sarah. I'm going to try and be like Sarah. Stick around because I'm going to have some really, really cool stuff happening. Um, I've done when some... Oh, oh. To buy jump rope, I hate when you go to YouTube and then they have to play those commercials. It's like, come on, people, get rid of those commercials. I have no questions for this We're almost there. We're almost there. Hang on, I want to play this little, little bit of this song because I think Tennessee Whiskey is a really good song. Is anybody up to drink whiskey? It's kind of a slow song. It's a declutter time, right? Do you like my lamp in the back? Isn't it cool? It's not mine, it's Francis's, but it's so cool, isn't it? So anyway, Tennessee Whiskey. That's what's on. I should have had this pretty well ready to go, but I didn't. I thought about it as I'm going, oh my god, oh my god, it's 7 o'clock and I haven't got a song. I'm awesome. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for joining me. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Um, I'm going to talk about decluttering your mind. This is something that is it, it, it's huge for me. Um, maybe this is even too loud. We should just turn it down a little bit. How's that? Just to kind of have it in the background. Maybe that does that work. Can you still hear it? Um, mental clutter can get to you. I know um, lots of times when I'm trying to sleep, I know Sarah and I have talked to you. wake up at, at uh, 3 in the morning or something and you can't go back to sleep again because your mind is just going. Or you can't get to sleep because your mind is just going. Um, <clears throat> there's different weight things that... <clears throat> perfect. Thanks, Amanda. Awesome. Thanks, Sarah. Um, I just feel like it's... Uh, uh, a, a way that we can we can control our minds. We can't control what's happening in the world around us. We can't control what's going on anywhere. We can control right here. And this is what we can control, okay? So that's what I'm trying to help you with. I have like, my five tips for it. I hope not to take too much of your time, but I want to make sure that these, that these points are covered, okay? So the first thing I want to talk about is to declutter is to declutter your physical environment, okay? Like that is huge. I don't know if anybody's like me, um, if it gets to be too much, um, I'm gonna try and shut these off because then I don't wanna be distracted by comments and I'll check out them later, okay? Um, the, your physical, if you could declutter stuff, if you could have around you, because if you're like it, at all like me, I was gonna just wanna mention that, you know, like my, my joggers kind of match my shirt, so I just wanted to make sure that that was something that somebody said. Steve, Steve, Steve noticed. I was like, oh wow, look at Steve noticed. Anyway. Uh, yoga pants, they match the shirt, we're good. Um, so anyway, I, what I'm talking about is decluttering your physical environment because it leads to mental clutter. If you have anything any, like OCD like I do, um, first of all, the clutter um, bombards your mind uh, it, with excess stimuli, so that it, which forces your brain to work on overtime because you're trying to figure out, you're trying to do everything at once, right? Um, secondly, physical clutter signals the brain that there's always something else that needs to be done. Do you understand that? Like you're, you never feel like you're ever gonna get there. Like you never feel like you're ever gonna get to a place where you're, where you're calm, right? Um, which is mentally exhausting. So as you declutter your physical space, uh, you'll discover that your mind becomes declutter. Okay, uh, that's again my OCD. Um, it, it goes crazy. I get anxiety about it. If someone's coming over, I worry about it. And you're probably the same as me. Um, maybe some Tennessee whiskey would help if you're just joining us now. Um, but if you have somebody coming over, I panic because the house isn't totally perfectly clean. But who cares, really? I mean, that's how I used to be when I was younger. Now that I've turned 50, I'll be 55 this year. Wow, that sounds bad, but I am gonna be 55 this year. And I feel the best that I've ever felt in my life because of what we have done. What Sarah and I have done, what she's taught me to do through coaching. Um, we've gone to different coaches, but we just still feel like this is the best place. We, we're, we're, we're in a good place, okay? We're in a good place. Uh, we know that we're on the right track, okay? So what I uh, I do really, really highly do to declutter your physical environment, even if it's just a little bit at a time. And if you can't, you gotta take it in bite sizes, right? Take it in little bite sizes and figure out how to do your desk, figure out how to do your countertop, figure out how to do your table, like something. Figure out something that declutters so your mind isn't quite so 
busy, okay? Because that can throw you into where you don't do anything. Because I got so much to do, I'm not going to do anything. Because you know what they say about the confused mind? It does zip, right? Number two, write it down. You don't need to keep everything in your brain. You know what? Sometimes when you write it down, it's just like it, it takes you from that spot, it gets you there, and you're like, oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm not as busy as I thought I was going to be. Uh, choose a tool. It can be an online tool or an app. I know I use, like, I started out using Trello. Uh, even a pad and paper, like a pen, a book. Like, you know, you can write things down. I have horrible writing. You probably don't want to see my writing, but I have horrible writing. So sometimes me typing it down works out and printing it out. That works better for me. Um, uh, and copious notes. I always think about this um, uh, about one of your conventions and stuff in our businesses that, that if you're taking copious notes at conventions, you're writing stuff down, it takes it from... It helps to reiterate it into your brain. They say the more you write it down, and the more like say, I know another one. Like say you meet somebody and you hear their name, and you don't remember their name at ten minutes later. But if you re if you had thought about it, and you took it, um, and you said their name and asked them questions back at least three times, it gets you to remember their name, right? So that's kind of things. The same as about writing things down. Um, that's why vision boards work. If you haven't ever tried the vision board that, that Sarah's put up, you need to go and look at it. Okay. Those are really, really important. Um, pads of papers, like Trello, anything like that, writing it down, doing journaling. Uh, think of it as a storage device for all those bits and pieces of information that you need to remember. This can include appointments, phone numbers, ideas, um, future product projects, and so on. Like, you know, I know that on our, on our iPhones, we can have that little notes part. I, and, and lots of times, I don't know if you do this, but for my business, I have my iPad, my, my, uh, my phone, and my computer, lots of times I send myself messages on Facebook. And that way, every one of my devices is, is accessible to that. So I can just go to my messages and I, met, I write a message to myself and it's all there. So that's one of the tricks that I use. Number three, let go of the past. Mind clutter is re often related to the past. And I know that's easy to say, but most people keep a large cabinet of mental drawers, right? Uh, stored in the back of their minds. These drawers are filled with mistakes that you've, that you've made opportunities that you missed, people you've hurt, um, past grievances, and so on. So take the time to go through those mental drawers and discard memories in the past that's not serving you well, and, and they're just cluttering up your mind, and that you keep reliving uh, for no reason, okay? I don't remember a lot of my past. I always tell my my, uh, my siblings it's because I think they, they, they beat on me because I was the youngest. I think they just, they just tortured me. I don't, re I don't want to remember it. But honestly, I think I had such a good childhood that I don't think of it because it doesn't it doesn't bother me. I have no regrets. I I have nothing to think. Even with my kids, if my Miranda will remember things that I have no clue what she's talking about, and I'm okay with that because that she wants to remember that. She chooses to remember that. That's great. I chose to look for for the future. I don't look back, and I'm not saying that this is wrong. I don't look back and say this happened to me, and so that's why I am who I am. I don't look back for that. Um, I look forward to things because I think it's okay to be different. I think it's okay to have, um, to be me and, and it's okay to be you. So remember that. So if you're not the same as every other person, that's okay. If you don't remember every little detail, that's okay. Lots of times I don't remember anything until it's, uh, I see a picture of it and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. Only because I've seen the picture, right? So you gotta remember that it's okay. You can be different. I remember, um, I think this is on this page right behind me. My friend of mine, my coach, and she put down, oh, if I can find it now, there it is. Don't be afraid to be different. Be afraid of being the same as everyone else. Remember that, okay? Don't be afraid to be different. Be afraid of being the same as everybody else. That's something that I love. Okay, another one I think of is stop multitasking. Like, you know, your house is a mess. You need to organize and declutter. How do you begin? You're probably like, you're probably young mothers. You've probably got kids in school. Um, you, you probably don't know, like you've got hockey, band, whatever's happening in their lives is it your life because it has to, it, to do with you. You try to do something and they're, and they're here. Like for instance, me, my husband gets bored without me being, so if I'm in the office doing this, he's in, he's in here going, okay, what are you doing today? What are we writing? What are we doing this? Are we going to go do this? It's like, just give me an hour and I'll be, you know, like an hour or two, let me get, me get my shit done. Um, so you want to start by choosing an important area. For example, if you have the kitchen table and our counters, they need to be cleared off, right? So choose that. The mental equivalent of clearing off the kitchen table is choosing a certain amount of time in which you're going to devote exclusively to one important task, okay? During that time, push all mental clutter to the side and focus your, all your attention on the task at hand. Visualize a table and it's clear and clean 
um, of all items except for the one task that you're going to be able to be working on. Make sure that the table stays clear for all the time during the entire chunk of time that you've devoted to this task. If anything else tries to get in the way onto that table, mentally push it off. Because you know what, that's what, that's what Sarah talks about on her vision board. You need to just have that energy. And, and, and this is the first time, like when, I, when she first started talking about this, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not sure about this energy shit, right? I'm not sure about this. But I, and honestly, I still do it. I just didn't do it the way that I that she did it. I didn't know the way that she talked about it. But when I after I listened to that that energy um, that she took the vision board training, um, it is so empowering. You guys, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it because that to me it's changed my life. Because even though I was like, like because she's doing the incense, I'm like, oh, aura. But you know, it does help. It does help. It does change. It's finally sunk into me. Like I. I may not do the same things that Sarah does, and that's okay to be different, right? I could be in the hot tub listening to a podcast and just going, oh, this is something that is that we need to find that spot, wherever it is for you, that you can re relax, get one with yourself, and know that what you're doing is the right. Because you know what? In the end of the day, you only have to make you happy, really, at the end of the day. that's You're the most important person that you have to make happy. Okay, that's my stop multitasking. And then I have this one that I want to talk to you about. Speaking of multitasking, because this thing always makes me laugh. Like, so funny. Um, my mind is like an internet browser. I have 19 tabs open, three are frozen, and I have no idea where the music is coming from. Like, how many times have you guys done that, right? Like, I totally do that a lot. I am, I'm trying to do something, I'm paying a bill online, all of a sudden something comes in, a message comes in, somebody wants to order something um, on my network marketing business, and all of a sudden I'm doing this, and then Steve calls and the phone rings, or you're doing something else, and, and, and you're constantly, and you know you have a to-do list, but yet the to-do list, whatever you planned has gone right out the door. Okay, so that's okay, but you just gotta, sometimes maybe you gotta shut your phone off. Maybe you gotta shut off the, the notifications. Maybe that's something you need to think about. So if you want to do something in that certain amount of time, block it. Block that time and just do it. No matter what the hell, do, if they're hammering on your door, don't matter. Just get that done, okay? That's what I, I like about that one. Okay, um, number five that I have for you is limit the, the, what the info is coming in. Whatever information is coming into you, you have to limit to what's coming in. Because you know, sometimes, especially with social media these days, you can see it, you can think about something that you might want to buy or purchase and the goddamn thing comes up on a sponsored ad. You're like, they're fucking psychic. Like they're psycho. I mean psychic. Like they're like that's crazy. It's crazy, right? You don't know how much is actually true. Like it's coming up and it's you're seeing it. So is it meant to be? Is it something that I should be doing? Is that karma? Is it uh, the universe telling me this is what I should be doing? Even though you just thought about it, right? Um, but I want you to like squirrel itis is out there. Once you find something that works for you, stick with it until it doesn't work. Okay, um, stick with it. Stop looking for the quick fix. Um, especially in like a, an online marketing or um, anything you're doing, like your weight loss, um, those kind of things, especially weight loss these days, especially this time of year, everybody wants to look for the quick fix. They want to have like a pill you can take and you can lose weight. I mean, honestly, if you think about it, when has that ever happened? You need to know that it's what you eat. 80% is what you eat. 20% is what you do. That's facts. That's life. And unless you take consistency in that, at least five days of the week, you're not going to lose the weight you want to lose. So let's get real with each other and let's figure this shit out. That's what I like. Grass is always greener. Don't forget that there isn't the quick way to anything. It's consistency no matter what you do. Okay, guys? So let's limit that information coming in. Let's make sure that you're not getting um, distracted and having the squirrelitis. So stay focused, okay? Um, stop looking for the quick fix. Find something that works for you and go with it, okay? In a, in a challenge, I'm going to ask you to find the triggers that reminds you that you're stuck in a mindset, okay? Um, I want you to think what not, what's not working for you. So when you're trying to sleep and you keep thinking about the negative shit and you're, oh, and you're like, can't believe it, I can't sleep, recognize it and try to find something that can snap you out of it, okay? Your brain is going to conspire to find reasons that you're right even when you're wrong. Does that make sense? So even if your thinking is wrong and you know it's wrong, but you keep going towards it and you're focusing on that, your brain's gonna go, yep, you're right. And they're gonna find all these different ways to tell you that you're right, okay? You need to find something to go five, four, three, two, one, like Mel Robbins and get the heck out of there, right? Get the heck out of there. Use a tool like five, four, three, two, one and get out of it, okay? Um, turn off your, like I said, turn off your notifications. I find myself sometimes 
um, scroll. I'm scrolling. I call it the sc scroll hole. And if you 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 find that you're uh, scrolling too much on Facebook or you're all, and all of a sudden lower, like what the heck are you doing? You're, that's not why you're on here. You're not on here to um, s scrolling stuff. You should be. There's different ways to do social marketing and that social media and that's not it. So stop that, okay? Uh, make sure um, that you're, uh, you contact a friend, an upline, business partner, whatever that can bounce you back into the straight and narrow, okay? And get focused. Um, I highly recommend and I love it for you to tell me um, every day if you can or tell me that you do this, do some PD. I'm always gonna say PD, which means personal development. I don't care who you listen to, whether it's Mel Robbins, whether it's, um, um, I think of the lady that's, um, I can't think of her name right now, but uh, Maria Forleo, I do that unfigure outable. Everything is, un is, uh, is figure outable, it's figure outable. Um, there's so many people out there, there's so many great podcasts out there. Um, find something and give yourself at least 15 to 30 minutes a day where you're listening to something or reading something, okay? Um, a blog or podcast, if you have a coach, if you go on YouTube. Lately I've been finding tapping and it's working in the morning and it's so cool. And I love it, this Brad Yates that I use, my coach taught, turned me on to this Brad Yates, I love it, does this. Anyway, it's a, it's a good and it gives you kind of a boost to, to your day, it can give you a, a nice come down for a night. Um, whatever you need, there is things out there, okay? So declutter that mind, okay? I challenge you to find ways to declutter your mind, okay? There's ways to do it. If you need help, if you need um, anybody to talk to, contact Sarah and I, we're here, we're here in the Two Wicked Chicks. And I am excited that that we're here, that things are expanding and things are moving along. So we'll be here once a week. I hope you guys join us at least once a week. Um, we'll try to make these short and sweet. But Wednesday nights work for me because it's Wicked Wednesday for me, right? And uh, I'm glad that you're here. Uh, and I don't don't and always remember that she's wild. I'm wicked. Until next time, we're gonna be with you always.